عبادك الأيام فتا أنواع الكلام The types of speech قال وأقسامه ثلاثة اسم وفعل وحرف جاء لمعنى The Sheikh says أنواع الكلام The types of speech How many types of speech are there? قال وأقسامه ثلاثة اسم وفعل وحرف جاء لمعنى ابن أجروم he said the types of kalam is three اسم which is a noun فعل which is a verb وحرف a particle جاء لمعنى that has come with a meaning the حروف there are those who don't have meaning like the huruf al Alif, ba, ta, tha, jim, ha. They're huruf, they don't have meaning. Hurufun ja'a li ma'nan. He's going to bring it to you later what they are. They are huruf that have meaning. They have, they have meaning. For the author to say that the kalam is three types is incorrect. The kalam isn't three types. The kalam, sorry, the kalam is three types but not ism, fi'l and harf. It is not ism, fi'l and harf. What is these three types? Kalima. Kalima is, the kalima is an ism and a fi'l and a harf. As for kalam, the kalam is a mufrad, jumla and shibhu jumla. Those are the three types it's broken into. A kalam is broken into al mufrad. A mufrad here is the opposite of jumla. The second is a jumla. And the third is shibhu jumla. And we're going to take it later, inshallah ta'ala, these three. Mufrad, jumla, shibhu jumla, when we speak about the khabar, inshallah ta'ala. Mubtada and khabar, we will come to it later, inshallah ta'ala. <coughs> Let's take what Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid said. Wa aqulu, I will say, al alfadu the words, alati kana al arabu yasta'milunaha. The words in which the Arabs used to use fi kalamihim in their speech. وَنُقِلَتْ إِلَيْنَا عَنْهُمْ And it has been transmitted to us from them. فَنَحْنُ نَتَكَلَّمُ بِهَا We will speak about on it. Or we will speak based on it. So the words in which the Arabs used to use in their speech. And it has been transmitted to us. That they used to use. We will use it in our speech. في محاوراتنا in our discussions and our dialogues ودروسنا and in our lessons ونقرأها في كتبنا and we will read it in our books ونكتب بها and we will write it إلى أهلنا our families وأصدقاء وأصدقائنا and our friends لا يخلو those words so which words the ones that we have dialogue in we have lessons in. We write to one another. And that, we, which, we, that, and that which we write out towards to our family and our friends. لا يخلو, it does, it cannot leave. واحد منها عن, عن أن يكون واحدا من ثلاثة أشياء. It won't leave for it to be one of three. It's either a noun that you used or it's a verb that you've used or it's a particle that you used. So if a person speaks or a person is given a lesson or a person is writing a letter or a book or you want to write a little message, an email to your family in Arabic, whatever we look at in everything you've said, it will fall under one of these three types. It's either a noun or it's a verb or it's a particle. So you're not going to find I in the Quran that says to you that the kalimah is divided into ism, fi'il, and harf. How did they find out? بِالتَّتَبُّعُ وَالْإِسْتِقْرَاءِ tam. This is tatabu' and istiqra'. The Arabs, they followed up the language. And they came to the conclusion, they came to the conclusion that the speech, that the speech of the Arabs does not leave these three. It's either a, it's either a noun, or it's a verb, or it's a particle. أَمَّا الْإِسْمُ As for a noun, 
fi lughati fahuwa as for the noun in the arabic language it is ma dalla ala musamman ala musamman ma dalla ala musamman the noun in the language it is what it is something that indicates the thing that it's been speaking that is been spoken about the musamma is the thing that's been spoken about so for example when you say mobile phone for example in arabic you say jawal a jawal is a what it's a mobile phone so you the ism indicates this to you if i say to you water i'm a ma you're not going to look at this you're going to look at this this is the musamma the ism it indicates this to you if i say to you um shy T, it will automatically your eyes won't go this direction, but it will go towards this direction. And then all of this is what the isim indicates the musamma, the thing that it's been that is spoken about. That is what it means in the language. Brothers, what does the word istilah mean? Istilah means when a people of a field agree on something. That's what it's called. Istilah. That's what it means. The word istilah. It means what? It means what the grammarians agreed upon to define the word ism. That's what istilah means. Istilah means, so you say istilah al-muhaddithin, istilah al-fuqaha, istilah al-nuhat, istilah al-usuliyin, istilah al-mufassirin. Huh? All of that, what does it mean? Any people of any field Whatever definition that they agree upon is called what? Stilah. A istalahu, they referred, they made this a terminology that has this definition for them. Wa fi istilahi nahwiyina. So the and agreed upon definition for the grammarians is what? That it's a kalimatun. That ism is a, it's a kalima. Not a kalam. It's a kalimatun. Dalat that indicates ala ma'annan fi nafsiha. It has a meaning in and within itself. The noun is something that has a meaning present in it. Meaning the noun doesn't require a meaning to come from what? What's the opposite to this? Um, what's the ihtiraz? What drops out is something that can't show a meaning in and within itself. The noun is not like that. The noun it shows meaning in and within itself. It doesn't need anything to help it. It does its meaning does not reflect off something else. It comes directly from itself. Good. Walam taktarin bizamanin, and it does not uh, indicate time or it doesn't show time. For example, today I was called Ahmed. Yesterday was Ahmed, and tomorrow is Ahmed. It doesn't change. Ahmed is always going to be like that. Are you with me? But when you're using a, a verb, which we're going to come to, is a different thing. A verb shows you what? What you're saying now, what you're going to be saying tomorrow, or what you did yesterday when you're speaking about it. The usage of the word changes. Okay? Whereas the noun is what? The noun does not show time. And you can't, you can't benefit from a noun time. Okay? Is that unanimously agreed upon? We're going to come to Sharh ibn Aqeel when he does al ibn Malik. That this is not also agreed upon, that last part. وَلَمْ تَقْتَرِمْ بِزَمَانٍ نَحْوُ مُحَمَّدٌ نَحْوُ means like example. Like مُحَمَّدٌ وَعَلِيٌ وَرَجُلٌ وَجَمَلٌ وَنَهْرٌ وَتُفَاحَةٌ وَلَيْمُونَةٌ وَعَصًا So Muhammad is the name of a person. Ali is the name of a Person. Rajulun is a na name of a man. Jamalun is a camel. Nahrun is a river. Tufaha is what? Apple. Laymuna is a lemon. Asa, um, asan is a stick. All of those are nouns. Do they show you time? Do they have meanings in and within themselves? Yes, they do. 
for kullu wahidin min hadhihi al-alfaz every single word which is muhammad ali rajulun jamalun nahrun tufahatun laymunatun asa all of them min hadhihi al-alfaz yadullu ala ma'na it shows a meaning wa laysa az-zaman dakhilan fi ma'na and the time is not inside the meaning meaning the meaning and the time are not together meaning it doesn't show meaning fayakunasman fayakunu fayakunasman it becomes a what it becomes a noun so there's no indication of time that is what a verb is that is why it is a verb uh, sorry that is why it's that is called a noun وَأَمَّا الْفِعْلُ فِي اللُّغَةِ As for a verb in the language is what? الْحَدَثُ An event. الْحَدَثُ An event. The word الْحَدَث means what? Event. وَفِي اصْطِلَاحِ النَّحْوِيِّينَ And the definition according to the grammarians is كلمة دلت على معنى في نفسها a word that indicates a meaning ها in and within itself it has a meaning in and within itself وقترنت وقترنت and it attaches itself to what بأحد الأزمنة الثلاثة one of the three periods of times what are the three different periods of time? Past, present, and future. A verb shows one of those three. It is either past, present, or future. So now we're going to compare the two to one another. We're going to compare what? We're going to compare two. Um, um, a noun shows a meaning in and within itself, but it doesn't show time. A verb shows a meaning in and within itself, a verb shows a meaning in and within itself and it also indicates time. So the difference between them is what? Time. So if that is the difference, why did the author start with a noun? Why didn't he start with a verb? The reason is because there could be a sentence where there's no verb and there's only a noun. Like a mubtida and a khabar. But there can never be a sentence where there is a verb and there's no noun. And a noun doesn't require a verb. So it does not require a verb. It doesn't require a verb. Like for example, Muhammadun Musafirun. Both of them are nouns. Are you with me? So why did he make the verb next, the second one? Why did he make the verb the second one? The reason is because the reason is because the harf has no sign at all. وَالْحَرْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَهُ عَلَامَ فَقِسْ عَلَى مَا أَقُولُ تَكُنْ عَلَّامَ Hariri says it is maqam, uh, in his uh, Mulhatul I'rab. So, the fi'l is what? The fi'l is linguistically الْحَدَثُ وَفِي اصْطِلَاحِ النَّحْوِيِّينَ كَلِمَةُ دَلَّتْ عَلَى مَعْنًا فِي نَفْسِهَا وَاقْتَرَنَتْ بِأَحَدِ الْأَزْمِنَةِ الثَّلَاثَةِ الَّتِي هِيَ الْمَاضِي وَالْحَالُ وَالْمُسْتَقْبَلِ Those are the three times. Past, present, and future. So the Madi is past, Al Halu is present, and Al Mustaqbal is the future. And now he's going to give you an example. Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid. Nahu like Kataba, he wrote. Fa inno kalimatun, the word Kataba is a word. Dalatun, dalatun, sorry. Dalatun, ala ma'nan, it shows a meaning. It indicates a meaning. Wa huwa al kitabatu, and that is what? That is writing. So it has a meaning. What meaning does it have? It indicates the meaning which is writing. Oh. And that meaning, that meaning is connected to what? It is connected to bizzaman. It's connected to time. Which time is it connected to? Al Mahdi, past. The word kataba. It has a meaning which is to write and it also has what? And it also shows what? <coughs> it also shows a past tense. It shows that this verb took place in the past. The second one. 
wa nahu like yak tubu yak tubu fa innahu dalun ala ma'nan the word yak tubu indicates a meaning or shows a meaning and that meaning is what it's writing wa huwa al-kitabatu it is writing it has that meaning in it aydan also wa hadha al-ma'na this meaning muqtarinun it is attached to what bil zaman al-hadhiri the present tense meaning it's showing us something that's happening one right now as we speak yaktubu he's writing wa nahwu and this is the third type uktub uktub right fa innahu kalimatun it's a word dalatun that indicates ala ma'nan it indicates a meaning wa huwa al-kitabatu and that meaning is writing aydan also so all of them they indicate meanings wa hadha al-ma'na but the meaning here is connected to what muqtari nun it is connected to what ah bi zaman al-mustaqbali it is connected to the future tense alladhi ba'da zamana ba alladhi ba'da zaman at-takallum which is after the time of the person speaking the one who is speaking to you when he says to you uktub right you're going to do it after he has told you already so it's a future it hasn't happened yet it's going to happen that future might be closed or that may may be fast wa mithlu hadhihi al-alfaz and the likes of these words are nasar yansur sur fahim yafham fham alim ya'lam lam jalas yajlis jlis darab yadrib dhrib those are nasara means to give victory yansur nasara gave victory past tense yansur is giving victory now unsur give victory it's a command fi'l amr fahima is past tense understood wa yafhamu is that he's understanding it now if ham means understand it's a command wa alima means he knew past tense wa ya'lamu he knows which is now present tense wa'lam is a fi'l amr command no wa jalasa is to sit down past tense he sat down yajlisu he is sitting down and the other one which is what wajlis what does it mean sit down command daraba is to hit <coughs> past tense he hit yadribu he is hitting idrib hit very good wal fi'lu wal fi'lu the verb ala thalathati anwa'in the verb is of three types wal fi'lu the verb ala thalathati anwa'in is three types madin wa mudari'un wa amrun Madin, past tense. Mudari, present tense. Amrun, a verb which is a command. So we have a, we have three types of verbs. Madin, madin, which is past tense. Mudari, present tense. Amrun, a command, a verb which is a command. Falmadi, ma dalla ala hadathin waqa'a fi zaman alladhi قبل زمان التكلم نحو كتب وفهم وخرج وسمع وأبصر وتكلم واستغفر واشترك. The ماضي is what? It is anything that indicates an event على حدث an event وقع that took place في الزمان الذي the time before زمان التكلم the time before the speech was happening. Before this this person is talking, anything that happened before his speech, any event that took place is called what? It's called a. It is called a fi'l madi. Like example is what? Kataba he wrote. Fahima he understood. 
Kharaja, he went out. Sami'a, he listened. Absara, he saw. Takallama, he spoke. Istaghfara, he seeked forgiveness. Ishtaraka, he participated. All of those are past tense. All of those are fi'il madhi. Why is it fi'il madhi? Because it first of all indicates a hadith, an event that took place. Which is either writing, understanding, leaving, listening, seeing, and etc. Also, what does it show? It shows a time. And the third one is that it shows a past. That at the time it shows its past. Mudari' is what? ما دل على حدث يقع في زمان التكلم أو بعده. The mudari' is anything that indicates an event. يقع that is happening or it's taking place. ها في زمان التكلم whilst the person is speaking it's taking place. أو بعده or even after it. Or even after it. Yaktubu. So it's amazing because the fi'il mudari in the Arabic language, it shows a slight future. Are you with me? It shows, it shows slight future. We're going to elaborate that more, on that more in our mutamimatul ajrumiya, the karakibu durriya that we're going to take inshallah ta'ala. Such as like what? Yaktubu, he is writing. Yafhamu, he's understanding. يخرج, he's leaving. يسمع, he's listening. ينصر, he's giving victory. يتكلم, he's, he's speaking. يستغفر, he's asking for, uh, يستغفر, he's asking for forgiveness from Allah. ويشترك, he's participating. نعم. والأمر, the third type of verb. ما دل على حدث يطلب حصوله بعد زمان التكلم. The Amr is what? It is anything that indicates an event, but you're being requested to make something happen, and that is going to take place after the person, after the speech of the one who's speaking, after his speech. Such as the what? Example what? Uktub, right? Uktub, if ham, ukhruj. اسمع انصر تكلم استغفر اشترك اكتب is what? write فعل امر افهم is to understand command understand اخرج leave اسمع listen انصر give victory تكلم speak Istaghfir, ask for forgiveness. Ishtarik, participate. Wa amma al harfu, the third type of kalima. So we finish isim, fi'il, and we're now going to go to harf. Wa amma al harfu, as for the harf. Fawa fi lughati, in the language it is at tarafu. At tarafu. Taraf means edge. It's edge. And it's the ayah that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ حَرْفٍ There are those people who worship Allah upon the edge. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ حَرْفٍ أي على طرف So that's what it means linguistically. It means الطرف طرف is what? It's the edge. So the word حرف means the edge. But what does it mean according to the grammarians? What do the grammarians call it? وَفِي اصطلاح النُّحَاتِ in the definition of the grammarians, or the way that the grammarians define it, is what? Kalimatun dallat ala ma'nan fi ghayriha. It's not like an ism, and it's not like a fi'il. The fi'il, what, what was it? Ma dalla ala ma'nan fi nafsi. It is anything that has ma dalla ala ma'nan fi nafsiha. The fi'il was like that, and the ism was like that. Sahih? Isn't that what we said? We said that the ism is what? The fi'il is what? The ism was ma dalla ala ma'nan fi nafsiha wa lam yaqtarin bi ahad al-azminati thalatha. The fi'il, what did we say? Ma dalla ala ma'nan fi nafsih. Ma dalla ala ma'nan fi nafsiha wa qtarana bi ahad al-azminati thalatha. 
Look what we say. What we say? We say, we say كلمة دلت على معنى في غيرها. It's a it's a كلمة. The meaning only comes clear in when it goes into a or something else. When it goes into a context. Or when it goes into a a sentence, such as the word lock. نحو من like the word من. Like the word what? Min. فإن هذا اللفظ this word min. This word min. كلمة دلت على معنى وهو الابتداء. Like the word min. This word indicates meaning which is to start from somewhere. وهو الابتداء is to start from somewhere. وهذا المعنى and that meaning لا يتم it will not become complete حتى تضم until you bring it to or attach it to it إلى هذه الكلمة غيرها when you attach to it something other than it فتقول you say ذهبت I left من البيت from the house مثلا example if you take the word min by itself and you put it somewhere the person will think to yourself where where start from where min where من السماء إلى الأرض ها من لندن إلى برمنهام where from where من from what but when you put it into the sentence the meaning complete they know where the ابتداه is and where you started from are you with me they have to I left من البيت from the house now we know where this ابتداه started from we know where it started from the sheikh is now going to give you أمثلة examples of all the three types so before we go to Amthila, what have you just learned? You learned ism. You learned you learned the ism. You also learned a fi'il. And you learned a harf, their meanings. You've also taken the types of what? The types of fi'il there are. You've taken that. Amthila to lil ismi. Examples for the ism. Kitabun, book. Qala mun. قال مون بن دوات إنك بوت كراسة نوت بوك جريدة نيوز بيبر خليل it's the name of a man خليل صالح عمران those are names of individuals ورقة بيبر سبع سبع is any predator animal Himarun, donkey. The bun, wolf. Fahdun, cheetah. Namirun, tiger. Laymuna, lemon. Burtukala, an orange. Kumath, kumathratun, kumathratun is a pear. Narjisatun, daffodil. Wardatun, rose. هؤلاء these أنتم you lot those are examples for the ism أمثلة للفعل examples for the verb سافر يسافر سافر he travelled he's travelling travel past present and future which is the example of a verb. يَقُولُ لَوْ قَالَ يَقُولُ قُلْ He said, he is saying, say, أَمِنَ يَأْمَنُ إِيْمَنْ He became safe. He is being safe. Be safe. رَضِيَ يَرْضَ إِرْضَ He became pleased. يَرْضَ He is be, he's being pleased now. Irda be pleased. Sadaqa yasduqusduq. He told the truth. He's telling the truth. Tell the truth. Ijtahada yajtahid ujtih ijtahid. Ijtahada yajtahidu ijtahid. He strived. He is striving. Strive. Istaghfara yastaghfiru istaghfir. He asked for forgiveness. He is asking for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. أمثلة للحرف 
examples of huruf. Min ila an ala illa lakin inna an bala bal qad sofa hatta lam la lan lo lama la ma lata later in thumma o. They are, are we going to come to huruf? Inshallah ta'ala in its places. Bi idnillahi al kareem. As ilatun. As ilatun. Questions. So every part that we take, the author, Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid, the Sharih, he gives you exercise. So every lesson, I'm going to check it, inshallah ta'ala. Mal ismu. What's a noun? Mathil. Give an example. Lil ismi bi asharati amthila. With 10 examples. Bring, I'm going to give exam, 10 examples of a noun. Ma huwa al fi'lu. What's a verb? Ila kam qismin yanqasimu al fi'lu. And how much, um, how many is a verb divided into? Ma huwa al mudari'u. What's a mudari'u? Ma huwa al amru. What's an amr? Ma huwa al madi. What's a madi? What is it? Mathil, give an example. Lil fi'li bi ashrati amthila. Ten examples. Ma huwa al harfu. What a harf, particle. Mathil, give an example. Lil harfi for a particle bi ashrati amthila. Ten examples. Ten examples.